Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the difference between main and origin slash main, or master and origin slash master. Uh, this was originally brought up in the context of merging, uh, so doing git merge master or git merge origin slash master. Uh, and I'm going to show you the difference between the, th the, th the three commands, actually, <laughs> and which one is the most reliable and which one you should prefer, as well as with git branch as well. Uh, so let's jump into it. Okay, so I have set up a version of ASD Pretty, which looks like it's cloned, although I did some fiddly stuff with the history so that <laughs> I can demo this video. Um, oh, did I actually do it? Maybe I forgot to. Anyway, we'll find out. Um, so let's create a branch in this repository. And whenever I create a branch, I do get checkout origin slash main branch dash B my branch. And this is because this refers to what your repository thinks is the current latest branch in your repository. Whereas you may have any sort of master branch sitting around that could be out of date, or maybe it doesn't even exist, or it's uh, in some state that you don't want. Uh, and so this is what I use as the most reliable way to create a branch, create a fresh branch from the latest version of a master. Now note that even this doesn't guarantee that you have a fresh version. Uh, because your distributed version control copy of Git <laughs> does not necessarily have exactly the same state as the remote repository does. So it's possible that that's out of date. Um, actually, you know, we'll draw a little diagram here. Why not? So uh, you might have a branch that, let's say, history goes upwards, and it has a number of commits on it. Mark those as blue. And we'll just assume a nice linear history in this case. And so let's say that you cloned your repository at this point in time. This is when you performed your clone. And so at that point, both origin, uh, actually let's, let's, let's give them color boxes because yeah, that sounds good. Uh, red is not a good color for YouTube. Let's do purple and uh, orange, <laughs> purple and orange. Okay, this will be origin, dang it. This will be origin slash master, and this will be master. Okay, so when we clone this repository, those are both going to refer to the same thing. So if we were to put squares here, you have both of these referring to this. Um, and whenever you do a fetch, a fetch will get the newer state from the repository. So let's say that we ran, uh, we cloned a repository and this is our initial state. And let's say we ran a get fetch at this point. Um, this will update this origin slash master, the orange one, to this value up here. So now uh, we have run a fetch and so it has updated origin slash master. But you'll note that our existing master branch has not changed at all. And that won't change until you perform some sort of update, such as a fetch or a pull or a merge onto that, onto that branch. And so these can be in various states of out of date. Um, so showing that here, if we do git log master, you'll see that master is, um, oh, I meant to make this further out of date, but I forgot to do that anyway. You'll see that master is at June 14th. And if we do get log origin slash master, you'll see that origin slash master is also at June 14th. Um, what I meant to do was fudge the, uh, fudge this slightly to make it look like an older clone branch. Uh, my branch. So this is what I meant to have it do, to have it point at some even further in, in time branch, even though, um, origin slash master is newer at June 14th. But even this origin slash master was cloned out of date, and this is older than the current latest commit. So if I do a get fetch, get fetch will synchronize my local origin state with the remote. So if I do get fetch, you'll see that it has updated my origin slash master to a20 and where it was previously 8455, which is what this is here. So now if I do get long, origin slash master, you'll see that I am at A20. So a fetch synchronizes the local state with the remote state. 
And if I were to run, uh, let's say, let's make a commit on this branch. Boo, empty. Um, of course, it has to run the, the git hooks because uh, I haven't updated MyPy in a while, apparently. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. This may take a few minutes. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, I could have done no verify to make it not do this. Um, takes too long. We will. Okay, anyway, there we go. Uh, so if I do git merge master, you'll notice that it says it's already up to date. And that's because my master branch, the local copy that I have, is fairly out of date. And this is almost never what you want to do. Uh, it's very rare that you want to merge a local branch into another local branch. You usually want to merge a remote branch into your local branch. And you can do that with git merge origin slash master. And so that'll merge this and make it up to date. You'll see it's prompting me for a merge commit. And you'll see I now have a merge remote tracking branch origin slash master into branch. And that has pulled in the upstream changes. Now, if we uh, reset back to that, undo what I just did. Um, Another command that you can do that will do that fetch, so the fetch is the updating the local state, and then the merge, is git pull. So git pull origin space master, not slash this time, pull is a little bit weird. Um, this will do both a fetch of origin and then it'll do a merge of origin slash master. It does those in conjunction with each other. And so if you're, if you're merging in the latest state, I usually find that this is the most reliable command to do that with because it will do both a fetch and a merge at the same time and it will generally do the right thing. So in this case, it does a merge or it does a fetch first. So that's what the little pause was at the beginning. It didn't actually need to fetch anything because we had just run git fetch, uh, but then it's going to do this same um, you know, merge. Now the merge commit that it generates here is slightly different. You'll see it says merge branch master of this remote name. Uh, and that's just because it knows a little bit more information about what we just did. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the difference between master, which is your local branch, origin slash master, which is your local copy of the remote branch, and a fetched origin slash master, which will represent the most up-to-date information. Um, and then just to summarize, the two commands that I tend to use are you know, git fetch and git checkout origin slash master dash b my branch. So I do this to create a branch from the most fresh copy as possible. Uh, I'll call it my range too. And then to pull the most recent changes, I do git pull origin master and substitute main or whatever your default branch is. Um, mine is currently master because I haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> uh, but anyway, those are the two, uh, two commands that you would want to get out of that. Anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.